name is Sonia. Um, my name is Tushar. Yeah. Hello. We're at 15 Kukla Bayomi um, in DI in Lagos, and we're sitting at Tai Tai. So Tai Tai is a Thai restaurant, but not only, um, we also run um, an Airbnb um, within the same space. Um, art is very um, central um, to our ethos over here, so you'll see like lots of tiny details um, about how that sort of feeds into our culture as a space. Um, and Tai Tai is, I guess the way that I would sort of describe it is, um, that it's, this is Tai Tai, and then our other space, 16 by 16, is like this umbrella that sort of envelopes it and like guides the way in which we do things down here. So yeah, that's, um, that's where we are right now. So yeah, I run 16 by 16, which is this really cool space um, in um, a residential building that is sometimes I think like a challenge. It challenges like just by being there it challenges so many notions um, um, of space and how space is utilized um, especially in an informal economy that like Lagos gives us. Mm -hmm. um, it is an Airbnb and a creative incubator space. Um, in essence, that's just kind of fancy language for I had a space and then I filled it with all the things that I loved. Yeah. It's actually such a funny story how we began, actually. In, in, honestly, it was, I think, for for me, at least, I was like, what are you doing? Um, we come from a family of like industrialists. Yeah, you super know? like capitalists. Yeah. yeah very ridiculous. much like this push your revenue streams. Wow. Yeah. Fully. Um, your dad, yeah. Oh, well, he, he's, a reaction, he's a sort of reaction to that as well. Yeah. Um, yeah. But um, the Shara so um, moved back from New York, and I was just graduating university at the time. And he was working in um, commodities trading, and he had a good, like, stable job, um, getting good salary. And like in our heads, we were all like, "Okay, great, this guy's set up. He knows what he's doing. Good stuff." And then um, it turns out, like, I had just moved back, and the shark comes to me one night, and he's like, "Hey, I uh, quit my job a month ago." Um, and he hasn't told anybody, and he's spending like one month not going to work, but just going upstairs because we live in this building, and um, mm -hmm. like planning what he wants to do with the space. Um, and he really was, um, it was four white walls upstairs, it was just rooms, it was so lame, honestly, when, when we started, but it was just empty space, and he saw so much so much more of what the space could be and I think I think really the defining this defining characteristic is evolution because that's all that's happened since we've started we've not stayed the same since we began um, it, you know it started off as a space where he wanted to give a, a more just younger artists like a place a platform to like exhibit and then we sort of moved away from this exhibition model and it's become now like a space where we'll do workshops and we run our residency program. But now more than anything, it's a space for ideas. Yes. Um, so like, come, tell us what your idea is and let's see how we can give you the resources to explore that so that we're able to add more, not just to like our surrounding area, but to the community exactly. as well. Um, so yeah, I think, um, I think really that's what's been exciting. special, yeah, yeah exciting. I think a lot of it was just um, me 
responding to the environment over here. So I like came back and it was so nice to see this um, like burgeoning creative class, but especially like younger kids, you know, yeah. um, who weren't doing that sort of like shitty like white cube gallery model of oh well let me just support like the artists that are that I'm that have made it already let's what about the grassroots like who, what about those guys you know yeah um, yeah and um, it was so nice I think everything's just been about community actually and like community building but I mean I, I, I keep seeing this as well I think my biggest thing is about like building local infrastructure yeah. which is I think like what we're trying to do you know I mean it starts with this space yeah. or like these two spaces and now we have four yeah. uh, if I'm adding like Bubu's hidden bar space and that's like five but I mean I guess the idea of like space is space should be used to to challenge things then right I mean we're like we're super humans are just territorial so like you have the space and then you build the confidence with the space but then you now go out you know and the idea is to to move out as well like um we're trying to walk on the streets now you know or like imagine like 16 by 16 on the streets what does it look I like i think it looks like any of the other spaces that you've created um i think 16 by 16 and Tai Tai in particular are special in their own way. But again, like you said, it's all about community. I think H Factor is 16 by 16 on the streets. Yeah. That's what it is. <laughs> I think everything is about design, you know? Like now the way I'm thinking about it is I want to design the way people walk and eat and flow. sit and yeah. flow, yeah. In creating a space, you're doing all of that, right? You're designing how a person's going to walk through it, how a person's going to eat in it. That's essentially what we're doing. Um, it's funny, actually, whenever we... It's a question that I ask myself now whenever we put something new in the space is that for me it's so clear like this table should go here or this ch chair should be designed like this or but it's like I, I put myself in the shoes of somebody else and I'll be like I'm going to walk through the space and this is all new to me and I have to interact with it there because it makes sense to me. Thanks for having us. Thank you. We'll be back for sure. You should.